Hi guys, um, I just wanted to have a quick chat to you about what we've got going on here. Um, so this is going to be a little demonstration of the switcheroo relay board that we've got. Now, what the switcheroo is for is for switching uh, higher current loads from your firing system. So, a good example here would be if you have our um, single queue firing system here. This is just a one-shot receiver with a six-volt output. Um, it can't really fire more than one or two E-matches at once, uh, and it certainly wouldn't be able to fire more than a couple of Talon igniters at once. So let's say you have um, a volley of rockets or shells that you want to go off at once, and you want to fire them from one single queue on your firing system. Um, then you would use the switcheroo relay board. So in this example here, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five Talon igniters uh, mounted in a block of wood connected to bits of visco fuse. We've got all of those going into the output of the switcheroo relay board. We've got our little single queue firing system connected to the trigger input port, which is here. And we're going to connect a 12 volt battery into the power port here. And when the queue on our single queue firing system fires, it's going to close the relay and it's going to let the big battery here deliver all of its current to the igniters. So something else that this could be useful for is if you're using your firing system to fire 24 volt solenoid valves or even fire uh, igniters or e-matches on a longer length of wire, maybe you want to use 24 or 36 volts. You just connect up your 12 volt batteries to the switcheroo, again connect your trigger input port into your firing system and when your firing system fires the relay is going to close and it's going to let your bigger battery pack fire your igniters or your solenoid valve or whatever. So the switcheroo's got a couple of interesting little features in it. Um, I'll give you a close up here again. We've just got screw terminals for our trigger out port, but you'll see we've also got a fire LED to let you know when the relay's closed. We've got a test LED which will let you know if you've got continuity on your output port. Our power just goes in here. The middle two terminals allow you to connect a switch if you want to. So instead of actually getting a voltage in here, you could just have a length of wire going out and a simple like two pole um, single pole switch even. So if you close the toggle switch or push button switch the relay will then fire. And then we've got our trigger input port here which will take a voltage in from your firing system. Okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just connect up our 12 volt battery. It's very easy to do. Just use a screwdriver, start the wires, that down. So you see that as soon as power is connected, the green test LED comes on. And this shows that we've got good continuity on the output. The firing system is already connected up. When I put the firing system into test mode, it's actually going to see continuity into the switcheroo, so you know that that connection is good. I'll just switch this firing system into ARM mode. So now you can see we've got our arm light. You can see the test light is good. We've got power to the switcheroo. So now, if I were to press this button on the remote control, this little six volt output firing system can now switch the current from the battery and fire all of these Talon igniters at once. So let's go ahead and do that. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. You can see that works absolutely perfectly.